Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to have a little look at Hornby's R30035. It's a steam train starter pack. You get a little loco which looks bloody awful. And <laughs> you get an open wagon, a van and a coach. The list price on this is, is £83, sometimes up to £89. And I picked it up for £54 from Hatton's. While I was buying some other stuff, I thought, you know what? Worst comes to worst, it's buy an awful loco, get free rolling stock. So this is the kind of locos they are, you know, 40 or quid, £50. So I thought, well, I'm paying £54, I get a loco. Uh, they can never go wrong with an 040, even when it looks as awful as this. And then I'll just get some free rolling stock to add onto my railway. So that is exactly what I did. So as always, it's in package, decent packaging, nothing special here, just sort of plastic packaging inside. You do get a little uh, plastic sheet across to protect it. So, you know, obviously at £54, I'm not really bothered either way. I just want to see what it is. I'm closer to 82, 83 original price, maybe 89. I wouldn't be wanting to pay that for for this loco, this style of loco, I really don't see how they come up with the price to do. But let's not moan about the prices. We paid 54 quid. Let's review it as 54 quid. These are still available at that price if that's what you want. So you can pop along to Hattons and do pick yourself one up. So we got the little detail pack, which is you know nice enough. They didn't have to add that in. I'm not going to bother with that for a minute. We got the little 040 loco. Now, if you've been watching my channel a while, you know that I basically hate this loco. I think it looks like a party wear, so plastic, plastic paper plates and cups and all. From when I used to go to birthdays in the 90s, when I was like age five and six, I, I just think it's if you said it to a small child, draw me a locomotive, steam locomotive, this is what they would come up with after they finished shoving crayons up their nose. The open wagon is great i'm not really going to complain about it i think it's all right it'll fit in just well i'm not really like the molding spot there uh, but yeah it's what you come to expect from the railroad whether you have how long you've been doing railroad plastic wheels now here's the thing i'm noticing plastic wheels seem to be creeping in quite a lot uh, let's hope that's not of a sign of things to come because plastic wheels are just a little bit trash and everything i bought recently that has plastic wheels wobbles all over the place now, if you don't watch the channel, you know me, I like a van, this van is great, can't complain, or can I? Plastic wheels. Plastic wheels on the van, so that's two of the rolling stock so far we've got plastic wheels. You know, it just means they wobble around a bit more, it's, it's just a bit, it's, I don't like it to be honest with you. And then the coach, we got metal wheels. So, all right, it's a two minute job for me to change them over, but come on, you could have put metal wheels in at 40, at 54 pound on the discount with metal wheels on all wagons. I'd be more than happy with that, to be honest with you. I could use the logo, uh, the locomotive as a doorstop at that point. So value for money at 54, yeah, I suppose in, in, in the sort of where we are with everything and prices are just bonkers on everything, it's fine. Closer to that main price, maybe not. So this is just straight out the pack on the tracks. We're gonna, I'm just seeing here, you know, where, how smooth it is out the packet. But, you know, little 040, I would expect. Usually you could just put them down on the track and away they go. This one did, uh, did need some running in. Uh, well, you should run all your locos in, let's be honest. But I like to, sometimes you get them out the, the box and they're just good to go. But yeah, this one any slower than that, and it, and it does struggle. You can see it's just just a bit jittery and stuff. But a good run in won't really uh, won't really have that after that. The thing with the, with the Hornby 040 is, uh, even though this one looks awful, <laughs> as I keep saying, like repetitive grandmother, they are like the cockroach of the model railway world. They they go forever. They run really well, they always do. I've not had one that doesn't run well. So on that side of things, they know exactly what I'm getting. It's been running at this point. You know, they can haul a decent amount of wagons for what they are. They, they're nowhere as fast as they used to be. They've been geared down quite a little bit from, quite a bit from when I was a child. But uh, yeah, you know, now it's been running and it runs just fine. Obviously at slower speeds, it does struggle a little bit with the points. 
and this is my top part of my railway is the first radius layout which I've always stuck to never deviated said it was going to be first radius and still is but I've got multiple points some you know in a row so locos like this tend to struggle but it's not really a problem at a decent speed however when you go in slow it does tend to sort of jitter even with the running in so just gonna just gonna, got some footage here for change I don't want to speed through just so you can see it going around and it's just fine it you know it does the job I can't say it doesn't for the money I paid and the climate that we're in with everything that's going on for 54 pound you can't really go wrong if you've got a small child coming up and they you started to get them into model railways it's going to be more than enough for them there's nothing to break off parts or anything like that so you know that's what I suppose it's made for it's not made for someone who's wanting you know a realistic model railway however it's a great way for you to get some rolling stock and a free loco and then, you know you can give the, the loco to whoever you want to so I'm just going to load it up with a few more wagons here these wagons are from the i traveler train set which is still top tier and you can still get it for ridiculously cheap you can still pick it up for around about 90 pound if you do want that iphone at uh, the i traveler train set get it don't worry about the phones and connect it to your phone if you don't want to do any of that you can run it completely on analog like i do and yeah it's a little bit of wheel slip but pulls the wagons absolutely no problem this is the kind of layout that this little uh, steam train pack is made for it is made for this small oval of the track tight radius runs like a dream again there's no problem with the way Hornby Locos run in the 040 they've been doing it for so long now that I expect nothing less it's just a shame it just wasn't a little bit better looking a little bit just just anything to it a little you know a bit of lining anything would have just made it that little bit better and you know imagine now on launch day you've gone out and you bought it for the price of a train set and this loco to like turns up i mean you've seen the picture you know what you're getting but it's still not the best however after that running in period run about 20 minutes either way that i did earlier in the video we can get it to do a, a little bit of a smooth crawl which is, is quite nice as you can see it here yeah i mean can't really grumble at that points however yeah i don't think it's it's uh, it's made for going over points at these speeds uh, and while it does get past the first set as it joins into the second set you'll see it now that there's it's just starting to stutter a little bit uh, and then off screen it'll completely stop yep dead so yeah Damn it, it's done it again. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, now we're going to practice trying to get it into the points, see how it does going into this this first set this first set of points. It's quite tight. It's a tight left and then right. Um, and we're going to see how it does there. Yep, stopped on the points. So it does, it does struggle with points in, in both just sort of normal uh, straight part and also the uh going over them at any sort of slow speed it needs to be a little bit quicker and then it'll, it'll navigate them without any problems but yeah so and it stopped again here i don't usually when when things stop i tend to sort of cut the footage but i thought oh, i'll just put my hand in if it's good enough for for other people i'm gonna do it as well and i don't want to like sugarcoat the review and make things like, oh yeah it was brilliant and it did all these things i'd rather just see you to see what it's like but again, you're obviously watching this video, not expecting it to be a world beater uh, of a locomotive. But it does all the basics nicely. And that is really all you can ask for the price. It's just a shame, you know, that it looks like your cousin you keep in the attic. So just a basic side note at the end of the video. Uh, thank you for everyone who's enjoying the video, subscribing, liking, all that stuff. But if you, I've noticed there's a massive demographic of people watching the videos. Uh, you know, once I get a thousand up to 16,000 views who are not subscribed, please go ahead and give that like, uh, you know, smash that subscribe button. Uh, let me know that you're enjoying the content. You know, we're not expecting to get to some crazy levels here, but it sort of always helps me know. And um, 
hopefully we'll have another review within a week. Okay, okay, that's fine.